for tuning in. I do quite a bit of portable work on two meters. Uh, I normally take one of these aerials, but I've never actually compared them against each other. So that was kind of the idea of this video, to be fair. So in the first one's a Midland F22, which is a copy of the Diamond F22. Two meter mono band, 3.2 meters tall. The next one is of Sharman's V2000, which is a copy again. At uh, 6, 2 and 70. And there's two and a half meters tall. Uh, my first home brew is a flower pot made of uh, Mini 8 coax. And then the last one is a Slim Jim made of, from 450 lad line. So they'll all be on the same pole uh, from the same height, from the bottom, same height, to try and make it as fair as I can. Same coax and everything. First antenna, I'm going to use the, um, the Midland F22. So it's on a short pole there. The backyard and massive length of coax, but they're all going to be on the same coax, same height and everything. So this is a Midland F22, uh, running 10 watts, and again 89.3 um, dB on the mixer. You can see just below the radio, just below on the right there. This is a map of the online SDR that I'm using, Hat Green, over in Nantwich, just over 15 miles from my QTH in Stoke, and I don't have clear line of sight, there's plenty of hills and all sorts in the way. Right, so this is GB3MP, which is around 55 miles away from here, still running 10 watts, still the F22, so just see what signal we get back. So four, round four there. Not bad that. Right, next antenna. Now the Sharman V2000 next. Dry band. Same pole, same everything. So this one is a V2000 by Sharman's Dry band. And this is 88 point, yeah, 88 to 89 roughly, DB. Still running for 10 watts. So the V2000 again on receive, that's on, that's on MP, so just under 3, not quite as good, this is the F22. Next one's a flower pot, as you can see there the base of it, they're the same, same height as the, um, as the other two add on. So I'll keep all the height the same from the base, try and make it as fair as I can. So I mean it's a lot shorter aerial. It doesn't go right to the top of the roach pole there, it's about halfway that long even though, lower than halfway. So let's go try that one. Okay, this one is a foil pot now. This is 97 point something. So not quite as good as the other one obviously. A bit more scratchy now. Right, so this is MP, and we're going to try the um, the flower pot now. Oh, we've all got any signal there. Still audible. Right, the next one then, the Slim Jim. And now this is a Slim Jim. Same again. The bottom's the same as the other three. Try and keep it fair, and hopefully. I'll get this done just before it goes dark. Right, so we're uh, the last antenna, which is a Slim Jim, it's in the 4.5 maybe, thereabouts, so this is better than the flower box. It's a good F of yours, nothing. Still 10 watts. Alright, let's look over to MP. Right, so there's MP on the Slim Jim. So I'll be in there uh, peaking at 2. So to conclude then, I've done a screenshot of each antenna on transmit and receive. Transmit's on the top row, the bottom row is on the receive on GB3 MP. So as you can see the V2000 on transmit on the top row there is uh, slightly better than the F22. The lower the number in dB, the better the signal. 
Um, so yeah, apart from that, I thought the S22 would be better on transmit, but according to that, it's not. So you know, um, and the Slim Jim is better than the Flower Pot. You know, all the, S the SW on each one of these antennas is hardly nothing. When you can see me transmitting on the 991, it was showing the SWR meter, and that was, well, it wasn't even moving, so they're all good SWRs. And then on the receiver there, the F22 is um, one S point better, give or take. And then um, the Slim Jim's two S points down on the F22, and then the flower pot there was just about under one it was, so quite a bit of difference. You know, that is just a piece of coax with a coil. Costs you hardly nothing, a couple of quid or something. So, yeah. So, if there's anything you think I should have done different or wrong or whatever, you know, or just let me know. Yeah, I've tried to do the test as fair as I possibly can. You know, uh, I think, anyway, unless you think otherwise. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Anyway.